वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल पावर पॉइंट यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस टूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द एजुकेशन इन्फोग्राफिक स्लाइड यू कैन सी हेयर आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ टेबल लैम्प और द स्टडी लैम्प एंड आई गिवन द टेक्स्ट हियर काइंड ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड हियर दिस अ लर्निंग वेन आई क्लिक इट विल शो द फोकस द लाइट हियर एंड आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड अ गर्ल so that uh, there are so many things she has to uh, go through in the learning process and which revolves around her you can see here in the planet there is some books or the hat or some tubes and everything so let's see how to create this beautiful infographic slide in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background according to your requirement go to insert shapes under rectangles select rectangle top corner surrounded draw the rectangle and shape outline make it wide and weight increase to 6 point shape fill make it no fill reduce the height and the width and bring it the bottom then go to insert shapes select on the basic shapes arc and draw the arc and shape outline make it wide and weight you make it 4 point increase the size and draw this side just going to increase the size a little bit bring the this corner this side and reduce the size maybe i'll increase the height a little bit so you can see only i have made a a kind of a arch only half not full also so i'm just going to copy this one and increase the height reduce the size and tilt a little bit and add it here then i'm going to copy this again you can see here i'm going to make it no curve and reduce the size and tilt it and put it here and reduce the size a little bit all right so let me just put exactly at the center i'm going to copy this again control d and i will change the shape to change the shape go to format edit shape change shape to oval shape and i'll just give one and one reduce the size I'm going to add one more. I'm going to further reduce the size and put it in the center. Select both this control G to group it. If you want, you can further reduce the size. Hold the shift key while reducing so that you can get a perfect shape. It has moved for some reason. Let me just arrange all right then i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to place here or let me just tilt more so you can see here the shape of the lamp is uh, taking place 
and I'm just going to copy this again and pasting it here See, this is some reason it's just not getting aligned properly. Yeah, this is okay. I'm going to copy this again. Select this shape, press Ctrl D to duplicate and increase the size and make it fully curved at the top. Reduce the size and tilt a little bit I'll further reduce the size and I'm just going to add one more small line here from this to this shape outline make it white and the width is same I will just zoom in and this is not properly aligned so let me just get the straight line here All right, and then I'm going to add one small kind of a wire for that I'm going to use uh, uh, maybe I'll use this curved I'm going to just make it more curved and double click here shape outline white outline so it looks like a, a wire there then again, I'm just going to copy this, Control D, increase the size, so the main lamp, I'm just going to make it, and, yeah, so you can see with only one shape, I've made the complete lamp. So you can see here our lamp shape is almost ready and if you want to add some text like I have added education there you can just add any text over this side. The next one I'm going to add an oval shape here go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this shape outline make it white and Da dashes click the dotted line and shape fill make it no fill so that the focus area is this one here and then I'm going to insert some lines select the line which is going till here shape outline again I'm going to give white and the dotted lines press ctrl D to duplicate and put this end and change the end to this one all right so you can see here uh, the lamp with the light and shadow it's visible here now I'm going to add some icons to add some icons go to insert click on icons this feature is available I believe from office 2016 or uh, office 365 uh, prior versions like 2007 2010 and 2013 I think these icons are not available in that case you have to go to the nonproject.com and you can download it or you can go and search on the internet you can find some icons so for in my case I'm just going to click icons And let me just search for 
the people and I'm going to select this particular icon of a girl and insert and graphic fill I'll make it yellow increase the size and put it at the center and then you can add some more icons which revolves around her again I'll go to insert icons okay so I'm just going to select education here and I will add randomly some three or four or five different images just insert and graphic fill make it white and place it at different locations I want this one here this should be here with smaller one one should be here other should be here and this should be here now we are going to do the animation here I'm going to animate two or three objects only just to show you and remaining you can do it by yourself first of all go to animations enable the animation pane and for example you want to animate this a planet I want to revolve around her and just go back to the place for that I'll go to add animation go at the bottom and you can see here a custom path I'll select this custom path and then I will say it should go here and it should come back here double click this one you can see here but it's very fast so double click this smooth and I will remove it timing I will make it extremely slow and repeat end of the slide or you can just say instead of 20 seconds I can just say maybe 15 seconds also all right and if you want to do auto reverse also you can do click OK now if I if you see here if I play this is going slowly and it goes back likewise I'm going to select this add animation go to custom path and this should go around her like this it should go and come back again this should happen with previous with a small delay of 5.5 seconds double click again smooth and remove it timings make it extremely slow repeat until end of the slide and just say ok so if I play see it's going all right likewise you can use the animation for other icons also so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university please subscribe share and comment if you like this video That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.